Hello, and welcome to Software Architecture Monday. My name is Mark Richards. I'm a hands-on software architect and also the founder of developer2architect.com. In the last lesson, number 69, I kind of showed the importance of event-driven architecture. What I wanted to show you here was how to prevent data loss when using messaging. Let's take a look at a scenario. Let's say we have service A, and service A sends a message out to service B. And service B then ends up receiving that message and inserts it or updates a record in the database. There's a lot of room for data loss when using asynchronous messaging. And that first area of data loss is when service A tries to get data to a queue. And then, in other words, service A has that data, can't get it to the queue, and now the data is lost. And so that's the first area. And the second area of data loss is when service B retrieves or receives the next message and it gets removed from the queue. Now, if service B ends up going down, that data is lost. And the third part was when service B, who has that data, tries to get it into the database, but some sort of database error occurs. Again, the data from service A is lost. Now let's see how to actually prevent this data loss. And so what we have here is some data. So service A has some data that needs to get eventually to service B and ultimately in the database. But service A knows nothing about the database because service B is going to enhance it, let's say. And so the very first way to prevent data loss on the first aspect is to use persisted message queues combined with something called synchronous send. And what happens here is when I do a send to that queue, when I send that message to the queue, and that's a blocking wait on that method call. And the broker will receive that message, make sure it is persisted, gets the acknowledgement that that's persisted in the queue, and then and only then will it send the acknowledgement or the success back on that send. And with synchronous send combined with persisted messages, there's quite simply no way to lose data. All right, so that's the first piece and fairly straightforward. Um, no special frameworks. This is all out of the box stuff within basic messaging. Now, the most common aspect of data loss, everybody, is the second one in the middle. Service B, what service B would like to do is get the next message. The way to fix the data loss here is quite simply to use something called client acknowledgement mode. You see, the default in all messaging systems is auto acknowledge, which basically says, give me the next message and remove it from the queue. I got it. Client acknowledge says, give me the next message, but keep it on the queue until I tell you I'm done processing. Now, what the queue will do or what the broker will do is assign that client ID for service B to that message so no one else gets it. So the message is on the queue, but it's kind of, quote, in process. It's being processed. And with client acknowledge mode, if service B goes down, the data is still in the queue. So there's no way to lose any data. It's in the persisted queue. Now, let's take a look at the third aspect here. Service B would like to actually get that data into the database. How can we prevent data from being lost here? Uh, the two things that we can use is ACID transactions, first of all, and that would be a database commit combined with something called, so once we get a commit, notice service B, the data is in the database. Now it's also in the queue. And so what we do is something called LPS, Last Participant Support. Now this is just a technique where the very last thing Service B does, once it gets a commit from the database, is send the acknowledgement to the queue. And therefore that data now gets removed. And now there's no way to lose data between Service B and the database. And so these are basic techniques that are out of the box in almost every messaging solution out there that you can use to ensure that data between these hops of various services is not lost. So for more <coughs> information, I've recorded a couple of videos on enterprise messaging in O'Reilly, and I've provided the links there between those. 
<coughs> um, this um, the enterprise messaging is with JMS, um, and also in developer2architect.com. Uh, all the lessons are housed within Software Architecture Monday. Um, I do also offer private training classes, which you can go to the training tab to see those. And also in the upcoming events page, um, you can find out where I'm at at public uh, trainings, uh, public conferences, user groups, and also um, online training as well. And so this has been Lesson 70, Preventing Data Loss When Using Messaging. I hope that uh, provides you with some insights in terms of really tightening uh, the system in terms of um, ensuring that no data gets lost when using messaging. And so this has been Software Architecture Monday. Again, uh, my name is Mark Richards, and thank you so much for listening.